Welcome to Innovation Technology Channel. Today, we would like to introduce the tips and tricks for writing results and discussion section in your research paper. Step by steps, you can follow easily. Click sub CRable to update the new videos. Okay. Let begin. When you write result and discussion section, you should follow the steps to have a great result and discussion section section. Results section checklist. 1. I do not merely describe all of the results, but interpret the important results for the reader. I use words like significant, moderate, unexpectedly, surprisingly and interestingly, to interpret the results and not just give a list of results. 2. If appropriate, I have pointed out any problems or inconsistencies with the data, not the same as limitations of the paper. 3. If my results are statistical, I have done all the necessary tests to determine the validity of the results. 4. If my paper does not have a separate discussion section, I have included references that compare my findings with the results in previous research papers. 5. I have used the past tense to talk about the specific results of my paper but I have used the present tense to talk about descriptions of figures or tables and generalizations based on my results of general statements about my whole field. 6. My tables have titles on the top but my figures have captions on the bottom. Now, we will follow the discussion slash conclusion section checklist. 1. I discuss only the most significant findings and do not simply repeat the results section with more commentary. 2. I have noted any problems with the methods or data. I note the implications of these problems and how they might affect the validity of my conclusions. 3. My discussion section includes references from other papers to either support or compare my research. 4. I have identified and clearly explained the importance of the findings for the field as a whole. 5. I have mentioned whether my results support or differ from previous research in the field. If they differ, I have attempted to explain why. 6. I have mentioned some possible areas for further research, the importance of the findings or the implications and possible applications of the research, not all are required in all fields. 7. I have analyzed the structure of papers in my field to understand the relationship between the results, discussion and conclusion sections. Now we follow the checklist for the format of figures and tables. 1. My tables have titles on the top but my figures have captions on the bottom. 2. No articles, the, a, at the beginning of figure captions. 3. I have printed out and looked at my figures and tables on paper to make sure that the text is not too small. 4. My figures do not depend on color information that cannot be seen in black and white print. 5. I have looked at a sample paper from my target journal to see if there is a period at the end of every caption. 6. I have looked at a sample journal article to see the correct format for figure captions. Fig 1. Slash figure 1. Slash fig 1. Subscribe our channel to update the new videos. See you soon.